Hey, I'm Roger Chang, producer of Techzilla, and I'm guest hosting today's Signal, and I'm down here at Sony's mothership in San Diego, California, to take a detailed view of their new A99 DSLR. Come on. And joining me now from digital imaging is L. Dean. Hey, Roger, welcome to Sony. Thank you for having me. Now, one of the awesome, really cool things that I I really dig about this camera is that you've done something completely new with the mirror on this camera. We've taken our uh, translucent mirror technology and we've put it into our flagship uh, full frame uh, A99 and, and literally this is going to be the future of uh, full frame photography. So how does this technology differ from the A900? The A900, like most other DSLRs on the market, had a moving mirror. And when you have a look inside, you see this massive mirror. It has motors and servers and everything to lift it up and down. When we launched the translucent mirror technology, it was on um, smaller cameras that had APS-C size sensors. But nothing has really been done on a translucent mirror on a full frame camera up until now. Now, I know you have uh, an exploded or, or, or a stripped down view of this camera, starting with uh, the front here. Uh, we have the uh, weather seal body with a matching vertical grip on the front. This is the plastic covering that's got all the seals in it. Uh, here we have the magnesium alloy body that's uh, been constructed. Now this gives the camera all its strength uh, and holds all the little pieces like the uh, electronic viewfinder, the OLED viewfinder. It's got the um, phase detection AF system, that's the one with the 19 points, the traditional one. And it's got our translucent mirror box and that holds the translucent mirror in place. Uh, moving back we have um, one of the housing mounts uh, for the um, sensor. And here we have the very large uh, 35 millimeter uh, full frame sensor, the 24 megapixels. Is that uh, stabilized as well? It is. What happens with these is that they're on an actuator that will move on an XY axis, which means that every lens that you put onto this camera will be stabilized. And, th and those uh, will move the, the, the entire sensor very quickly uh, up and down, the same way that uh, it would in a lens component. But you don't need stabilized lenses because this is stabilized so now. no matter what lens stabilized. Correct, wide telephoto, doesn't matter what it is. And then we have the uh, main circuit board. And this main circuit board, uh, the primary thing that it holds is the uh, Beyond's image processor and the LSI chip. Uh, this is where all the magic happens. So this is the, the dark room of the camera, right? So you think that the lens is, you know, traditional lenses have been around forever. Light comes through, it hits the sensor, which replaces traditional film. And then it goes, once you take your film to the lab and it gets processed, this is where it gets processed in the camera. And it takes an image and says, okay, what am I gonna do with it? And pops it onto a memory card. And then here we have the back body, which holds the uh, memory card slot. Mm -hmm. And it has the housing uh, for the battery. And then the very versatile, uh, multi-directional uh, LCD. Uh, LCD that goes in the back. This allows you for very very style shooting whether you're shooting uh, stills or video. And of course the entire camera is weather sealed front to back. Front to back weather sealed and you'll notice one of the other things is that all the buttons on the back are in very similar positions to where we have on you know all our other cameras and this allows you to be in the field shooting and being able to get the buttons just by a quick feel without missing that moment without missing the shot. And then uh, lastly this is a good demonstration of uh, what we mean by a full frame sensor. So this is a one inch sensor. This is typically what we find on maybe, you know, like a Nikon one. Um, you'll find this on our uh, RX100, um, highly acclaimed point and shoot, really fantastic little camera. And that's a really, really large sensor for a small camera. Stepping up to an APS-C size sensor, this is probably found on 90 plus percent of three cameras I have all use that all APS-C size. This is also the same size sensor that's found on just about all our other DSLRs, including all our NEX cameras, all the uh, uh, mirrorless cameras, right? So they use a very large sensor. You can see how much bigger it is than you know our point and shoot uh, or the Micron sensor. Uh, when you step up to the full frame, you can see how much bigger it is, right? So you go to a really massive sensor, and this sensor size allows for you know, tremendous amount of detail, uh, tremendous amount of image information, um, great gradation, but also fantastic in a low light situation. Essentially just more surface area for light to hit. Absolutely. Thanks, LD. Now, if you want to catch more awesome videos of product breakdowns, gadgets, cameras, whatever, check out youtube.com signal. And until next time, I'm Roger. <laughs>